Hi everyone, let's take a look at binomial coefficients, which many of you might know as combinations. Let's suppose n and k are integers such that 0 is less than or equal to k and k is less than or equal to n. So k is in between 0 and n. And say that n, sorry, s is a set such that the cardinality of s is equal to n. So it's a, it's an, n, we'll call it an n set, meaning there are n elements in it. Then a k combination of s is a k subset of s. So that means it's a subset of S with K elements. Which makes it an element of the power set of S, if you're wondering about that. Now the question is, if we let CK equal to the set of these K combinations, what is the cardinality of CK? So what is the number of subsets of S that have K elements? And this is a pretty natural question to ask. We might not know right off the top of our heads what to do, but we can tackle, first of all, an easy case. Let's say K equals to zero. Then we're selecting zero elements, which means the only, which means the only element of C0 is the empty set. So that means the uh, cardinality of C0 is equal to 1. So now, now we can assume that K is greater than or equal to 1 and as before less than or equal to N. This should make things a bit easier because we've gotten rid of an edge case. But beyond that, we might not have any ideas. So we, we do what we often do in math. We try to relate this to a different problem. Notice that if PK is equal to the set of K permutations of S, then the cardinality of PK is equal to N factorial over n minus k factorial. We've derived this in a different video. And this is somehow easier to do than find the cardinality of ck. So here's the idea. We're going to relate this to ck in a way by describing a map from pk to ck, from the permutations of k elements to the to the um, combinations of k elements, k combinations. And what we're going to do is, for example, if we have the, let's say, 3 tuple 2, 3, 4, we're just going to do the natural thing and just map it to the set with the same elements. So in this way, we, we get a well, formally we're going to show that this is a k, k factorial to 1 correspondence, but it's a function. And now let's take a look at the pre-images. The, if y is an element of ck, then the pre-image of y consists of all k tuples, so ordered k tuples, of elements of S with distinct elements that that order Y. So we're basically ordering this thing and that ordered version maps to the original. But we know that the number of permutations, number of permutations of a k-set 
is k factorial. This is a, a version of the formula for number of permutations. So that means we have a k factorial to one correspondence. The map that we described ab above from pk to ck. And so what that allows us to do is say that by the correspondence principle we find that the cardinality of ck is equal to the cardinality of pk divided by k factorial and that's just equal to n factorial over n minus k factorial that's that's the cardinality of pk divided by k factorial and we're just going to rewrite it in a slightly more convenient way which is n factorial over n minus k factorial times k factorial and that's our formula that is the cardinality of the number of k combinations and I just wanted to let you know that there's a different way of writing this which is if you have n factorial n minus k factorial k factorial we usually write it as n k with parentheses so it's sort of like a fraction but without the dash in between or vinculum and this is stated as n choose k because it's the number of ways of choosing k, k elements out of n elements without caring about the order thanks for watching and i'll see you next time